Hey guys, welcome back to Heiko's Garage. Today again another video where I'm talking about non-garage related items. All right, so as I'm getting deeper and deeper into video editing, using a proper camera for YouTube videos, I'm accumulating more and more gear. As you probably already noticed in my uh, past videos, I've increased my desktop space, I have uh, bought a new computer monitor, I have that mounted on a um, adjustable arm, I put a computer together, um, all kinds of things that I've done. I just recently bought a second lens for my uh, Canon Rebel SL3. This here is the kit lens. You are looking at me through a 24 millimeter uh, Canon lens. And uh, so now I have two lenses and when they get dirty, you gotta clean them, right? And on Amazon, there are like 10,000 products available to uh, clean camera lenses or optical devices. And you really don't know what you're getting if you just buy one of those bundles. Uh, probably, unless it's a really nice, expensive kit, um, most of those components in there are gonna be really cheaply made and uh, are not really great. And so I just handpicked a couple of things that I for sure know that I will need and uh, bought them individually and made my own little connection here, yeah, collection. Um, so let's start with the lens cleaner that I bought. I bought this uh, there. Made by Zeiss. Zeiss is one of the oldest and most famous and most well-known uh, optical device manufacturers from telescopes, microscopes, camera lenses, you name it. Uh, any kind of scientific equipment that has anything to do with optics. Uh, I don't know what else they do, but that's what I know about them. Hey guys, I decided to take you on a quick excursion to the Zeiss webpage to figure out who they are today. Uh, seems to be a pretty large international company and they have a lot of uh, product lines. So uh, they're working on medical equipment uh, in diagnose and treat, uh, microscopes, vision care, um, industrial uh, measuring equipment, uh, semiconductor manufacturing, uh, photography and cinema cinematography, of course. Um, what's this here? Develop and produce. Development production services, di digital solutions and software development. Uh, create virtual worlds, simulations, solutions and planetariums. And then uh, observe and experience hunting and uh, nature observation. Let's go over to about Zeiss, what they say, Zeiss at a glance, that's good. I like it short, and quick. Nice little animation here. As the pioneer of scientific optics, we continue to challenge the limits of human imagination. With our passion for excellence, we create value for our customers, inspire the world in new ways. Zeiss is an internationally leading technology enterprise operating in the optics and optoelectronics industries. In the past fiscal year, the Zeiss Group generated annual revenue totaling 6.3 billion euros in the four segments, semiconductor manufacturing te technology, industrial quality and research, medical technology and consumer markets, and invested 13% of its revenue in research and development as of September 30th, 2020. Zeiss has a long tradition of similarly high expenditures for research and development, which also represent an investment in the future. 
over 32,000 employees in almost 50 countries, work at around 30 production sites, 60 sales and service locations, and 27 research and development facilities. Uh, the company's headquarter in Oban Oberkochen, Germany, the Carl Zeiss Foundation, one of the largest foundations in Germany committed to the promotion of science, is the sole owner of the holding company, Carl Zeiss AG. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. All right, that's it. That's the end of the excursion. And if I'm not completely mistaken, where was this made? Made, does it say? Made in China, of course. Anyways, it used to be a German company, but not anymore, I guess. So this is my lens cleaning solution. This is the 60 millimeter or two ounce bottle. Um, if you just use this for camera lens cleaning, I bet you this is gonna last you a really long time. Then I wanted to have one of those uh, kind of air blow little ball thingies that the camera professionals use. And I didn't want the cheapy ones that come in some of those $30 kits. So I bought one that's made by Giotto's and it's called the uh, Rocket Air. And the model number, is there a model number? I think they make a few different models. This here is the AA1910. So a pretty decent size. And it has molded in feet that are also out of rubber. You can put this on a glass table and it wouldn't scratch up anything. So this is a decent size. The, the nozzle itself is hard plastic, but it's very smooth. There are no sharp edges on this. Um, so that's great. So that's good. And it creates quite a bit of some air pressure when you blow. And then you need some microfiber sheets. And I bought the ones branded as clean and clear microfiber. Microfiber lens cleaning cloth ultra premium quality. And they are not made in China. They are made in Korea. They come in a pack of four in those little uh, pre-packaging here. Confidence in textiles. They are machine washable 30 degree Celsius or 90 degree Fahrenheit. No bleach, no tumble dry. Uh, and you can iron them. I don't know who would iron a microfiber sheet. They are not huge. They are not the typical like the shop quality uh, microfiber sheet that you can buy at Costco. These are kind of like a tissue size, maybe smaller than a tissue. They have a little camera symbol down there. Uh, not embroidered, just melted into the surface. Um, and I've already tried them on my two lenses that I have. Uh, they are relatively absorbent. So oftentimes when you take a free microfiber sheet out of the packaging, it doesn't want to really absorb any fluid. So when you put your lens cleaning solution on your rag, you spray it on and then you wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and you're just wiping the, the liquid around because the, the material doesn't want to absorb the, the lens cleaning solution. Uh, these here are pretty good, but since they're machine washable, once you have used them all once or twice or thrice, just throw them in the washing machine together with some towels, I would say. Um, and uh, then that should improve over time. Um, yeah, they, they seem to be pretty decent quality. Um, yeah, and so that's pretty much all I bought. Lens cleaning solution, microfiber rex, pack of four, and my Giotto's Rocket Air, and it's patented, and it, where does, where is that made? Made in China. Surprise, surprise. So everything made in China, except the microfiber rags. So, um, yeah, that's my, my little kit that I put together. Uh, cotton swaps we always have at home, so if you have to get into like some really tight corners, um, there are, um, sensor cleaning kits out there. I'm a little hesitant to do that. I will just make sure that I always have a lens on my camera and not leave it sit open without a lens on it. Uh, somewhere online I saw uh, someone's recommendation. So if you change a lens, have the one that you wanna put on already ready to go. Maybe take the little K2 
cap on the back of the lens loose, have it sit here, then take lens off, put a new one on like right away, so you don't even uh, get dust and debris um, into your camera housing in the first place. So then you don't have to do that much uh, lens, uh, not, not uh, lens cleaning, but uh, sensor cleaning. So yeah, works all really well. I'll put some links down in the description. They're gonna be affiliate links. So you are uh, supporting the channel if you click on those. I would appreciate it. And if you like my little tech tips and my little product um, videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, you guys, see you on the next one.